morning to all of you. Today is a very important day, a very special day. Because today we are celebrating the 147th birthday anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. I don't have to tell you who was Sardar Vallabhai Patel. You all know him. He was the Iron Man of India. The reason behind calling him the Iron Man of India, you will hear today. One student speaker is there. He will inform you a lot of things about Sardar Vallabhai Patel. He was the first Deputy Prime Minister of India, a great freedom fighter, a great administrator, a great leader of the common people, especially farmers.
and power without purity is not a strength. Good morning, I am Nirmay Arvekar and this quote indicates a lot about the thoughts of a towering personality, Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel, whose birth anniversary is celebrated today. This day is also observed as the National Unity Day or the Rashtra Ekta Divas. Sardar Patel, fondly known as the Iron Man of India, was the first Home, was the first home Minister as well as the Deputy Prime Minister of Independent India. The world's tallest statue, the Statue of Unity, is a fitting tribute to this great son of Mother India who united our country. He played a really important role not only in not only during the freedom struggle but also in uniting the 565 prin, pres, uh, princely states after independence. His motto, Ek Bharat Shreed Bharat, is a guiding force for today's India. And I hope we Indians have the strength to remain united in all situations. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Nirmay. So, Nirmay told you that Sardar Vallabhai Patel was the first Home Minister of India <coughs> and he united the entire India into one nation. In 1947, we had 565 princely states in India. She also told that. Princely states means Small, small kingdoms ruled by Nawabs and Indian kings. And almost all of them, they wanted to remain independent because they thought that they will become an independent nation's king. But the people, the people there, they wanted to see that India is politically united into one nation. But most of these kings were not thinking like that. It was Sardar Vallabhai Patel and Indian National Congress. These two horses, Sardar Vallabhai Patel was, an, was a one-man army, you can say. That's why I told that he was a force. And the people behind him joined together and persuaded all these 563 out of 565 Indian princess to join the Indian Union. Today we see the shape of India, the map of India and the man behind the creation of this map like this today, that is Sardar Vallabhai Patel. If he was not there, I doubt whether we would have received such a beautiful map of India. There would have been many independent countries in between. Countries like, countries or princely states like Hyderabad, which was the biggest one was against joining India. The people were too much interested to join, but the Nizam, the ruler, was against it. The kingdom of Travancore, from where I come, that king was not ready to join. I remember while reading <coughs> how Travancore joined, Sardar Vallabhai Patel called the Prime Minister, that is the Diwan, Sir C.P. Ramaswamy Iyer, to Delhi, and he had a discussion told Diwan, you have to sign the instrument of accession, authorizing the unification of India into Travancore. The Diwan said, no. Again, Sardar Vallabhai Patel persuaded him. That was his way of behaving. And he said, I have to think. Then Sardar Vallabhai Patel told the Diwan, Sir C.P. Ramaswamy, you will reach Trivandrum. Before that, I can ask the Madras regiment of the Indian army to go to Trivandrum and capture it. Now you decide. Immediately, Divan agreed and signed the instrument of accession uh, on behalf of the king of Travancore. So like this, persuasion, threatening, if required, military action also. For example, Hyderabad was joined with Indian Union through military action. Because all the peaceful negotiations were rejected by the ruler. The Nawab of Junagadh, he did not agree to join. Military action. So wherever military action was required, he was very quick to give an order to the Indian army. And the Indian army moved there and it was captured. The kingdom of Jodhpur, the king was wavering whether I should join or Pakistan or India. Sardar Vallabhai Patel advised me, you join. Anyhow, Jodhpur will join with India only, whether you agree or not. So he got the message. He signed the instrument of a session. Like that. So, he 
hard to be very much thankful to me to this great Sardar. And Sardar was not the part of his name. People called him Sardar during the time of the Barbari Satyagraha by the cotton farmers. The tax was 22% on the poor farmers of India. And Sardar Vallabhai Patel led to the agitation and the tax was brought down to 0.3%. So you can see now what was his leadership quality against the British people. That's why the farmers started calling him Sardar. Later that became very popular. That's why we call him the Iron Man of India. Iron, very strong, strong metal, very useful. Okay, so we, each one of us, how to become an iron man of India or an iron woman of India whenever the question of our nation's integrity and security comes. We have to protect it. Okay, with these words, I invite our principal sir to speak a few words. Yes, uh, once again, after the incident, Anybody that includes them, okay. See, many of them don't have the habit, that's why I asked. But as children, uh, you should not get injured also, and you should not get hired, and you should not become executive. The background, the personality, <coughs> and what led him to call Sajja, and also the Iron Man of India, and what is his main contribution to okay. so all. Uh, studied in some of the books to some extent and uh, you have come to know through the friends and people. Now the other part is very important that nowadays in our country the people just they start becoming they started becoming too much of selfish. Yes, I only want I only want in my mind. If the things continue like this, the time will not be so far again to divide the country into different For that, your generation has to, yes, come up. And your generation has to take care of the nation. And whenever such kind of elements raise their head, you have to see how you have to negotiate, how you have to persuade, then how you have to use Sama, Veda, Dhana, Dhanda. All these three, four, four. So you have to follow the same thing. When they listen with love and affection, they fight. Otherwise, next it is there, shout to use some higher pitch. Then again, there are some next to me. So you have to go on thinking of that. And what uh, the research said is that the last one or two areas, Vallabhai Patel had to use the force. Yes. So this is our Indian dharma. We always go from the lower level. We try to convince the people. And that too, when we are using the violence or the punishment for a good cause, we should never think of <coughs> anything bad. Even Gandhi also said the same thing. Ahimsa doesn't mean every time Ahimsa. When the situation arises, we need not use the word Ahimsa. It is for a good and positive cause. So, it all depends on you, how you take up this and if you are aware of the current affairs, so many disturbing elements are there in the society. So we should be very cautious, we should be very very much alert and finally you should be able to contribute something where the sacrifices of the people like Sardar Vallabhai Patel will be continued, the unity will be continued. That could in that direction, I request all of you to make your efforts and see that this message also will be spread amongst your friends, your uh, relatives, your known people, everyone. So with this, I wish all of you once again the best of luck from Sardar Patel point of view and do your find the opportunity. Visit Unity of uh, Unity Statue, Statue of Unity. Really a marvelous thing uh, is a marvel, I can say. Very wonderful thing done by the Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And it's worth visiting in many aspects. You will get that spirit into that. Yes, by seeing the tall personality, 
we also get we are get we also get invite with certain good points. With this, I appreciate the efforts made by the Physical Education Department, Rajeshwari, and and for this all the other uh, members, and I appreciate your parents for the support. You did not get much time, but you could uh, come prepared nicely, and it was very well organized. Okay, with so this, I thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for the message. And definitely, you will remember the message given by our principal sir. Very often we hear Mahatma Gandhi ji ki jai, Subhash Chandra Bose ki jai. But very rarely only I have heard people telling jai or that be victorious, that kind of a jai for Sardar Vallabhai today. I think today we should uh, say sir, sir Sardar Vallabhai Patel ki jai. Will you join me? Yes, sir. Sardar Vallabhai Patel ki jai. 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 Okay, this jai you remember. Okay, whenever our nation is in trouble, stand immediately on your foot to save the nation. Okay, because we have only one nation.